One of the greatest struggles that so many Christians face is an overwhelming sense of condemnation. Maybe it's because of the things that they've done, the sin in their life, or maybe because of things that they haven't done, things that they've neglected to do, like spend time with God in prayer and the word, or maybe other things that he's called them to do. But what I want to tell you is that for those who are in Christ, there is absolutely no need to ever feel condemnation because God doesn't condemn you. Now, I know that the condemnation might feel so strong and, and you feel like you've tried to do everything to overcome it and to get rid of it, but you can't and you just feel so discouraged. I want to give you an illustration that is going to completely change the way that you see things. But I'm going to need a white t-shirt for this illustration. Okay, so what if I said to you that this t-shirt is so dirty, it's filthy, it's unclean, and I've tried everything to get it clean. I've just washed it over and over again. I've used every type of cleaning product that I can think of, but it still is completely dirty and I'm so discouraged because it's so dirty. You would probably say to me, what are you talking about? Your t-shirt is white, it's clean. What if I then said to you, I can hear what you're saying, but I just can't believe that because I just feel so strongly that it's dirty. Well, you might say to me, well, first of all, it's clean, it's a fact. And second of all, it doesn't matter what you feel, this doesn't change the fact that it's clean. And this is exactly the same with our righteousness in Christ. For those of us who are in Christ, we have been made righteous, we have been made whole, we have been made clean because of what he has accomplished for us. Because of what he did on the cross, God looks at the cross and he sees your sin. He looks at you and he sees Christ's righteousness and you are perfectly righteous in him. It's a fact. Now, I know that you might be experiencing condemnation. But what you need to know is that condemnation is from the enemy. It's never from God and it always leads you further away from God. And what you need to recognize to overcome condemnation is first of all to recognize when condemnation arises, identify it. And then second of all, to recognize that it's a lie and that what God says in his word is actually true. So you need to know what God says in his word and you need to meditate on this over and over and over until the truth of God's word becomes louder than any feelings of condemnation that you experience. So there are a few verses that I'll share with you. There are so many that I could share, but we'll go over just a few and these will be in Romans. So first of all, in Romans 5.1, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. It also says in Romans 5.8, but God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It says in Romans 5.20, that uh, where sin abound, the grace of God abounded all the more. And it says in Romans 8.1 that therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So what you want to do is you want to get into the word of God so that you can know your identity, your position in Christ. And you want to take hold of this truth until this truth takes hold of you. And as I said, it speaks louder than any of your emotions or any condemnation that the enemy is going to throw at you. Now, this doesn't mean that we're not to take sin seriously. We are. And when we sin, we experience a godly sorrow, which is a good thing. We recognize that sin is wrong. But rather than experiencing a condemnation, what we want to do is to allow ourselves to experience a conviction. A conviction is from God and it leads us closer to God. What it does is it gives us a desire to want to live the life that is pleasing to God, to want to live a surrendered life and an obedient life out of love because of what he's already done for us. Not to obey a set of rules to try to make ourselves right, to try to make ourselves clean before God because we can never do that, but to recognize that we've already been made right, we've already been made clean because of what Christ has done and we take hold of that identity and we live out of that place and we overcome condemnation. So next time you're feeling condemnation, I hope that you remember this illustration with a white t-shirt and imagine yourself clothed in the white righteousness of Christ and recognize that that is who you are because Christ accomplished that for you on the cross. And do not allow your own thoughts or the enemy to tell you otherwise. I hope this video has blessed you. Would love to get your thoughts. Leave your comments below and I'll talk to you soon. God bless you, friend.